Je fais pas wani. Je fais pas wani. Do you want to kill us? Now I won't buy us. No, just look at the people that just talk to you. Come, come up front and talk about it straight up. And then also, you know, the media we will say we get for this country. You know, what are you? What is the job really? What 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 are you people doing? You know, you have to go investigate. Now only have to investigate very dark man sex tape outside Naon Asabi. To the leak people sex tape. To the film show on Kuti. Now that one, I'm going to investigative reporting. You cannot shine your light in the real dark part of this country. Now, Oyibo people go to do now. Now, Oyibo people, Oyibo journalists. I want to, this live, I want to say that this live is dedicated to, you know, a very, I just find out about the man today. And now, for mama, get this information. And he has done the work and he's summary. The man named a barrister, Dele Ogun. He has a group called Fatherland, you know. And I want to thank him for his analysis on this opening my own eye to it. I want to thank my comrade. I didn't like all of my brother, but in the like say comrade. I meet him through Shore. You know, comrade Fabumi. In a Marxist Leninist. Me I try to force him to become Pan Africanist. We did drag ourselves every day for our message. But his heart is in the right place. In the freedom of our people. You know. And I meet this barrister daily go to there and I see another comrade whose heart is in the right place. So far, this as I can see, for the freedom of our people. Now, first of all, the sun will represent Nigeria for this matter. We don't know how much the man charged Nigeria for case where in the plan with the opponents to lose for the arbitration where we lose first for this case. So I'll give you a quick background. P and I D said they won't build basically they won't build gas plant for Nigeria. So they went into a deal with the Nigerian government. You know. They were backed by some powerful Nigerians. T.Y. Danjuma is one of the powerful Nigerians backing this company. Companies that collect money, this is what they do. This is not what they have for this country. And this is not why the media of Nigeria and these influencers must always face celebrities. Only celebrities. That's if anything that happens to celebrity move this country forward. Nothing will happen to celebrity can move this country forward. Except we institutionalize it ourselves from the perspective of the people. So they always you know, they direct, they distract your attention to stupid things. They turn uh, evil people to your role models. People who want to manipulate your brain. Now they're going to look up to. That they are, they've been paid. They know oh, how it is their job description. All the influencers, they get political backer. All of them. That's why any, any of them will come online. That's why they make mouth. You know, I will deal with you. I will say it I take passive for this Nigeria. I will say it I take passive for this Nigeria. The two they take passwords for this Nigeria is their political backers. So how can people that you all know are in bed with the people destroying this country come to tell you and say they like you? You say come believe say they like you. You go to act accordingly. This is because you all know the truth. You none of them are like Nigeria. We are like on ourselves. That because we are like on ourselves because we are not say none of them are like Nigeria. That is what unites you people. Your selfish interests. Now come they pretend online. Both the celeb influencer and the people now can they pretend they lie as if anything people are doing is for Nigeria. When people know it's for your individual hatred of Nigeria, who not know secretly when are they draw anything will be anti-African, neither the neither the poor nor money inside. So far the thing hate Africa, you people are there. Church hate Africa, you people are there. Mosque hate Africa, you people are there. All the hear film insulting Africa, you people are there. African do you they kill everybody? African do you know they destroy everything? Jesus Christ will come and save you at the end. You are all there. Buy Gucci, buy Benz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you are all there. When Africa go call, where are you people? Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Anything African, where are you people? Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. So these things are in the public spaces. People are paid billions of naira every year to make sure that you don't get that information. To make sure that internet like, to say talk about these things, they talk about stupid trivial issues. They come and talk about Chicago certificates, nonsense, stupid things that doesn't move this country forward. Then they will spread on their life that every intelligent person knows is is nonsense, stupid, stupid thing. I read machine during a Davido Uncle election for Shun State. I neck uh, the tribunal don't talk about 
Say I not operating IREC doesn't mean anything. David O Uncle win the election, all of Najubilate, based on the fact that not upholding IREF does not count. They reach in a turn. They repeat the same thing. Now say it's injustice. The Chicago school, go and read the thing where they put there. Go and read with your own eyes. Read the deposition of the registrar of that school. When I come back to this country, it was the first thing I did because that was the noise I was hearing everywhere. I went to go and read this school. Not in the school talk. What did they repeat? They just they twist everything for personal and selfish interest to make that the news of Nigeria. And whereas the news of this country said is this P and ID scandal. This case when Nigeria win two days ago. If Nigeria did not win this case, would have had to pay this company eleven billion dollars. They don't really position their self. The lawyer, the uh, son, I already when they represent Nigeria in the failed arbitration. Intentionally, or whether they sabotage their own country, they leak Nigeria legal secrets to the company where would they follow the so they will advise Nigeria, tell the company where they fight the same advice. Tell them what they what Nigeria they plan. Nigeria is a country, and Nigeria will be human being. You understand? Nobody owns Nigeria. As a barrister, daily uh, top of they say Nigeria belongs to everybody, just so Nigeria belongs to nobody, just like Buhari. That's why we don't see Buhari in action. It doesn't exist. You belong to everybody. So therefore, you belong to nobody. We've been handed a country, Nigeria, which belongs to everybody. But the problem with something that belongs to everybody is it belongs to nobody. You remember the line that Buhari used in his, in his campaign? I belong to everybody and belong to nobody. That is Nigeria. Because it belongs to everybody and nobody in particular. It is open season for all sorts of crooks and unprincipled people. So all these people that are supposed to be working for Nigeria, can't they work for the company? When Nigeria, they fight against, they give body. He charged Nigeria $179 million. Nine this man won't collect from this. $197.5 million US dollars. I said I figure again. 197.5 million US dollars. Oh, Nigerians, uh, we are bleeding on all fronts. In case we lose, country, we no get school, we no get road. This is what I'm saying. People gonna trust they get billions, now go they heal them. Country, they pay people 30,000 a month. This man, they charge 170 something million dollars for case where even they sabotage in country. Traitors, left, right, and center. They don't teach you now how to embrace treachery, how to love traitors. Now, so Lagos State to build a railway, this railway, they make noise at 56, 54 million dollar per, per, per kilometer. Whereas the same company built the same railroad for Ethiopia at 2 million per, 2 million dollar per kilometer. Treachery, treachery. But they are your big boys. They are your big boys. You people be hailing them jumping up and down, falling over yourself for nonsense that they do in this country. See, there are certain people we are going to call out for this P and I this scandal. It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous and that this country sits on its hands. None of these people have been rounded up. In fact, this one woman, the Madame Gogo with the thief, the money pass. She just died recently. This Mrs. Grace Tiger, the legal director of the Department of Petroleum Resources. You know? And I'm sure see our children give her a befitting barrier after betraying, betraying a nation. I thought, say, in setting aside the sum of 11 billion, I'm reading from the message. In setting aside the sum of 11 billion awarded against Nigeria, the English court took into consideration the pervasive corrupt practices of P and ID and their Nigerian confederates. The court then proceeded to list the unscrupulous Nigerians who connive with foreigners to bankrupt their own country to wit. Bodrick Bozimo, the former Minister of Pe Police Affairs. This man and his family raped the Nigeria police to come out through a word of phony contracts to PNID, for which they earn kickbacks to fund their luxurious lifestyle. Dr. K. B. K. 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 Gama, former Federal Permanent Secretary. His name features permanently in every conversation surrounding graft. He did not disappoint this time. Ambassador Dauda Daladi, former Administrator, Defense Ministry. This man just sat down and practically shared Nigeria's defense budget between his family and PNID directors. 
all you have to do is go and read this. It's not it's in public. Any Nigerian journalist can pick this judgment, read this judgment from this British judge, and inform the Nigerian people in a language that they will understand. And put fire in the yash of all these people. If things like this are not prosecuted in this country, if companies like this and their European owners, because this company, this PNID, this their company, the guy will get up, has been making money with Nigeria police over inflated costs of everything. I see all these things in the I was reading the court judgment. The court judgment is right here. I read it for over an hour. I was reading the court judgment. This is the court judgment here. So it's public. It is public knowledge, oh, ladies and gentlemen. It is public knowledge. Nigerian journalist, Mrs. Grace Tiger, former legal director, Department of Petroleum Resources. This woman received series of bribes in dollars from PMID to influence the award of vexed gas, sub uh, wetted gas supply and processing agreement. She drafted the agreement in terms favorable to PMID, cajoled the supervising minister to sign same, and continued to receive bribe from company throughout the arbitration proceedings. Meaning, while Nigeria was in court doing the arbitration, no, not in court, but in the arbitration proceedings, was it in court kind of? You know, arbitration is secret. Supposed to be secret. Nobody's supposed to know what thing. All these things are supposed to come out. They will just collect this 6.6 .6 billion, share them between the company and all these people here there for Nigeria. Nobody would have known what happened because it will have been sealed in secrecy. 11 billion. Now they owe oh, oh, for pay these people with it for share. Lawyer said 170 something million. In fact, the two councils where they pull, where, where they where they fight for this company. The judge said they were going to receive life-changing sums. One of the lawyers of this PID did on 850 million pounds. The other one will collect 3 billion pounds. Bill! 3 billion. Nigeria will not get road to drive on. We have no roads. We don't get lights. We don't get water. Our children they sit down for ground for classroom. No blackboard. Our children they sit down for ground. They say between January and June this year, Nigerians spent $340 million on paying school fees abroad. What is the Nigerian national budget of our ed What is the educational budget a year of this country? But we Nigerians can gather $340 million among ourselves to pay Oibo for our children to the school day. But we will not build anything for our own country. Somebody here say, who do us like this? These traitors that you continue to worship, these traitors that you cannot stand up to, that you're all cowardly in front of when about the shake. Now, you think this your influencers and celebrities that say they be something they will take on our destiny, they buy money for our children and will come online, they insult on our own fathers, we'll be victims. Your parents are victims of these people's atrocities. Now will come online, they my papa where you did, wait this one, they do like this, my mama where you did, wait this one, they do like stupid children. You and also because of the victimhood will make your parents be ignorant people. Not only they train you where to understand. How precious a parent is. This is your freedom to come online and disparage your own lineage based on the activities of a criminal, based on the activities of a traitor, because the traitor they flash you the, the spoils of your own destruction. Person will loot your own destiny, loot your own life. They show you this the spoils, the loot of your own generational existence. You can't go online, somebody they swear for her. Tell me they swear for all of the generation when they try that nonsense. They can't go online. They, they take a test to now when they don't get sense. They, they test to now now. You know something like social engineering? They call it social engineering. Yesterday, me and my friend for this house, we did watch one documentary. Uh, we did watch one show last week tonight by John Oliver. John Oliver, big ups to you, man. That the only man we may ever respect for American TV is that. John Oliver, that's my man. He do want exposure on a company called McKinsey. Social engineers. I when I look at the commentary finish, when I see the sinister behavior of that company, how that company helps big people, big companies, evil governments to manipulate their people. I tell my guys, say this company must be Nigeria. We go Google, we put McKinsey. I never even type McKinsey finish, come out McKinsey, Nigeria. The office is there for Lugard. I say they must be. This is not a coincidence. I say they must day. I say I said what it is. I Google and I say McKinsey night. He come out. I look the address. He did for Lugard. He I see on a must day. I see on a hand. I see on a hand. This social engineers people don't know what is going on. They are 
fingering your brain left and right. Fingering your brain like this, you think you are in control of your own actions. You are not, you never, because you never thought your actions through. Trust me, you never sit down one day, think where, what you are doing. We were no one person. Ancestors, thank you for removing some people from my life. Why would they complain all the time? Oh, oh, my chest pains me, my heart pains me, my liver pains me, my back pains me. My, this person taking cocaine, drinking all the time, doing all sorts. The same person, my heart is paining me, my arm is paining me, my neck is paining me. I can't, I can't sleep. If I try to sleep, I doing all the evil things that make sure that those things continue to plague their life. There you go. You have been programmed to self-destruct. You, know, you can't even help because you are not thinking your actions through. You don't see that like you just, hmm, this thing I'm doing, hmm, mm -mm -mm -mm. you are autopilot, autopilot. So what kind of country hmm, are we in that these kind of things happen and the people that do it, nobody says anything to them? Because as I'm talking to you that the president of this country President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, you cannot tell me you don't know that this P and ID thing is going on. Because I know for a fact that Olashu Boshashore is great friends with Raji Fashola. I know that for a fact. They are like five and six. So there, there's no way Shukoshashore is Raji Fashola's friend and you don't know about this PID scandal. Bokil and Shinpai, what's going to happen to all these people? Nothing. This is why they always draw me your ear and they're looking for foreign investment. This is what the foreign, foreign investment is local extraction. They work with these companies to, these companies deliver nothing to Nigeria. Nothing. Penny wise pound foolish, they'll bring maybe one or two million and then they take 11 billion away from our country and share among themselves. Lawyers alone will be collecting 850 million pounds, 176 million dollars. Ade Tunji, Ade Bayo, the most unpatriotic, I'm reading, not me talking, I'm just reading the report too. Not me talking, I'm just reading. The most unpatriotic Nigerian since independence. He leaked series of state secrets and privileged legal communications from Nigeria to P and ID. This gave the rogue company leverage at every point in the entire saga. Imagine, and this one children said, but they look at him, Daddy, buy me car. Daddy bought me this. Daddy sent me to school. Daddy is a good man. Daddy. His wife said, go say, honey, honey, darling, buy me new wig, buy me new bag. A man that is selling the generations of his people to just one company. Now, company, oh, CIA never called this one, so CIA never called. So it's CIA, has MI6, Chinese Secret Service. They've not called them. They are, <coughs> hey. <coughs> If they talk to them, they go say, now black man, they do black man. Now black man, they do black man. Now black man, they do black man. They don't go talk and wear. Say, now black man, when they work for white man, they do black man. Talk and wear. Say the full sentence. If you say full sentences, police no go arrest you. Now black man, when they work for white man, they spoil black man. Talk and finish. But you know, they fear on our masters. Now no one mention our guardian guardian name inside the matter. Now black man, they do black man. Now black man, they do black man. No politician, none of these people now wife, none of their wife. As I go say they be they, now black man, they, they, a Nigerian men are oppressing their wife. Nigerian men are wicked to women. Nigerian men is women. We they, they are women. This one wife now can never look and say, You are a wicked man, you are spoiling this country. I'm packing my load, I'm leaving your house. Name one woman in this country that has sparked a load out of a politician house because the politician is spoiling Nigeria. i wait. Name one woman that packed a bag and baggages out of that bastard man's house or a husband that packed his bag and baggages out of that stupid woman's house say, this woman is spoiling Nigeria. This man is spoiling Nigeria. That's why I left him. He's stealing from the generation of my children's friends. And my family members that don't have this man is destroying the destroy. Have you heard it before? Nigerian men are useless. Nigerian men are useless. Nigerian men are wicked. Nigeria. It is your husband that is useless and wicked. It is your husband's behavior that is making us behave like this. Because he has stolen all our opportunities. We have nothing else to do with our lives.
It is your wife that is making us behave like this. Justice Alpha Bell, uh, Bell go. Uh, what do I even have to talk about this? One? Do I even have to talk about this one? Hey, well, we as Nigerian people or we as African people in general, man, at some point, at some point, we need to take a long look in the goddamn mirror. Because I'm beginning to see that this is, we are, eh, eh, this is now like we are deceiving ourselves on some kind of dangerous level. Like, you know, I don't know how to say it, but, you know, like, we know what we are doing is wrong. We know, we know, we know, we know, we know. I don't want to believe anymore that we are victims, like 100% victim. I believe it now, some of us, they set ourselves up now. We are setting ourselves up because we believe say maybe one day we we we'll reach there, so we we'll set ourselves up. If we die, we die. Why hoping to be there? Because we all know now. Now there's no hiding it. Everybody knows. Reading this P and ID judgment, I realize so much is wrong with this. People's wives are just being paid hospital bill, paid to go shopping. Everything is in the judgment, man. This thing, please try and read this judgment. Go online. You will be there. You can find it. I'm sure. I'm sure if not, I'll find a way to make the link public. In fact, I'll put the link on my story. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the link in my story so that people can go in the link and read by themselves if you, if you feel like. I know many of you don't like reading. But you know, you know because one thing is make people they loot. Make, make people they loot is one thing. You know, make people they loot is one thing. But the treachery. You know, it, now which many of you understand. You see, for America, all these rich people, they are looters too. From Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, they loot their country. They commit money laundering. All these corrupt things that Nigerians do, where do you think they learn it from? Where do you think they learn it from? Where do you think they learn it from? It's from these Europeans they learn it now. At the time, I say Samuel Eto. Samuel Eto. They made him head of Cameroonian football. And they tell people, I think from uh, Paris, taxi driver, or you put them say, hey, things, people like JJ are entering into the, going back to their country. And that's why there was the rumor that JJ was going to become Minister of Sports. So the guy, they tell me, say, JJ will become Minister of Sports. Now, I'm Arab guy, sorry, not be white guy, Arab guy, you know, African guy, talking about African sports. And he knew that Jide was being shortlisted. I say, I beg. He said, Make a look what Samuel Eto is doing in Cameroon. I say, UK, are you following the news? Samuel Eto is in a big scandal for bribing referees, manipulating games. A whole Samuel Eto. He said, Ah, but he says Samuel Eto we don't play for all the best leagues, we know how to run football cleanly. I say, now the fact say he play for those leagues, now they can know how to they corrupt. Luckily for me, not up to two weeks, Barcelona scandal come out. Say they've been bribing the free. Barcelona has been bribing the ref. And Eto was in Barcelona for how many years? So are we surprised this have come Africa bribing referee? But nobody's going to where's the word I'm looking for? Nobody's going to look at that and uh, make the connection. Make the connection. In fact, let me not tell you the part of this case will blow my mind the most. That the amount of corruption and threat, the way Nigeria was treated by its own citizens. Eh? Make Oyibo they pity us. The way these Nigerians involved, these Nigerians, the way they behave in this case, the way they went against all the principles of arbitration. You understand? Because this court of arbitration, where they go, everything was supposed to be secret. There's a way they do it. To protect both parties to come to a just conclusion all the nigerians betrayed all the ethics and ethos of that process it was betrayed to the extent that the judge said that the process of arbitration the process this whole process that is tarnished for him goes he have to send he was he, the master is going to recommend that this case is put in one thing uh, uh, their ethics committee where they take study all these things because he believes that the arbitration process has forever been flawed by this our case. Say, don't be flawed. Say, because if this kind of thing happens here, and it has happened even one time again, that the arbitration thing is flawed. We, we ruined arbitration for the judge. We ruined it for him. That's how bad the behavior of the Nigerians involved in this whole thing was. And, the, and their European masters. 
that is how bad it was. Not only should the Nigerians involved in this be prosecuted to the full extent of the law, the Europeans involved should also be prosecuted to teach them not to be coming to our country to come and rape us anymore. These are the things that matter in this country. Right now, we still have that uh, Maliba, Mali, Mali, what do they call them? Mali, Malala power plant too, where they do arbitration for Paris. Barista Dele Ogun brought it up, luckily, and reminded us that one with them, uh, she not, uh, former minister of petroleum, which be name? She not, Etiebet, I mean, what be name? I can't remember his name that was involved. What was that man's name? The Mal Mal Malibu Abina Malala. What they call that project? In fact, they say what I did. Don't they argue swimming? Let me quickly mm, refresh my memory. Let's now move to the arm of the Nigerian state was compromised. Measurely allowed this company to be awarded six billion hmm. US dollars for contracts that never got off the ground and then it got to the point of rejecting Mali Mabila Mabila project Shani Shani Oh Shani What would I do without Shani? <laughs> That's my guy. My 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 Libra, my Bila, my Bila project. That's that one. that's the one. My Bila project. There's also the Malibu one today. That one we don't pay. We don't pay them billions. They don't carry out. They don't share and go. The one now named my Bila, my Bila. Yes, they are doing the arbitration right now too. And I'm sure the same thing that happened here is happening in that case. Is happening in that case. Is happening in that case. The Mabila power piece, I'm sure it's happening. What happened in this arbitration is happening in the arbitration that is going on right now in France. Are these human beings or cockroaches? Are these human beings? What kind of soul do you have? Which kind of spirit in Akari? Which kind of soul and spirit will I get? What kind? What kind? Evil people, I said, so evil. I mean, and I pity people that have to call you parents. And I pity them more. If they actually do look up to you or try to be anything, I pity them even more. I pity them that they have you as their parents. People like you, all you fucking permanent secretaries, all you government bureaucrats, all you traitors of this country. I curse the day you are born. I curse whoever put us together. I curse the people that join all of us together. You people are wicked beyond reason. You are wicked beyond, I don't know, you are wicked, you are wicked beyond estimation. You are wicked, you are callous. You have no soul. Your soul is, is warped. You have the soul of it. I don't know. No animal. I can't use any animal. You are the worst things on earth. There's no animal that we can use to. We cannot call any animal we call you is an insult to that animal. Any animal we try to relate you with is you are an insult to it. Like it will be an insult. I'm tired. I'm tired. We are not living anymore. We are just counting down the days till we die. We should, this is not how to live. A nation should not have to live like this. Seriously, I, I can't understand. Me, me, my cousin Shalemen. What do we have to look up to? What are we going? Where, 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 what are we looking up to as a nation? People are going to space. People are inventing things. People are building things. Nations are shooting into the next century in front of all look at what China is achieving. As evil as that Saudi uh, king, uh, princes, royal, whatever, what's his name, being Salem, whatever. That evil journalist chopper, journalist species, sir. Look at what he's doing in this country. Why, why can't we in Africa have one single government that is leading us like we are just moving and at least you know, we are doing something, we are dedicating ourselves to something we will benefit us, that is a plan in our country. What, what, what did they happen? Who were your fame? What kind of people are these? Would they feel say the only reason we exist is that we look the big car and the big houses that they have used our blood and bones to build and collect? This must change. Something must something has to give. Something has to give. Something has to give. This is too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Something has to give. People can't be doing this and be getting away with it non-stop in this country. We can't just say the problem. What is the solution? This is where the Fatherland Group uh, comes in, the work that we've been doing. We have to restore ownership. We have to. 
Nigeria is not owned by anybody in particular. It belongs to everybody. So nobody is really taking care. The ones who are driven by money and what they can get out of Nigeria, they are getting on with what they do. They're the loudest uh, cheerlead for carrying on the way we are. But those who are genuinely concerned for the interests of their people, they will understand that we need ownership. And what Fatherland has recommended is not the breakup of Nigeria, we're not secessionists, but we believe that we are. We have the brain power to remold and remodel the union in a way that will give ownership to each ethnic group while sharing the Nigerian skin. That's what we call the orange union. The skin wraps us all, but each segment belongs to an ethnic group as we were before Nigeria was constructed over us. So Nigeria remains, but within that, ownership, because it's from ownership that you get accountability. Where you have this massive structure that belongs to nobody, the crooks, they see us from a mile off. They know how to play one against the other. How do you have a contract like this, six billion US dollars. And the president at the time, according to Shegun Adini, did not know about it. It tells you that there's a deep state in operation filling that vacuum because we don't have ownership. If this had been the resources of a particular ethnic group and any member of that ethnic group had misconducted themselves in any of the ways that the evidence in this case has brought to light, you know what would happen to those ones. They all know what would happen. So we've been we've been helped by this case. We, we have to give thanks. It is it is a turning point uh, as far as Nigeria is concerned. Something has to give. Something has to give.